There are a couple of different topics that I would like to discuss, and I'm going to say both of them and maybe just do one for today or tonight, because it's late in the evening. I'm a bit tired. I mean, I'm getting ready for bed, actually. One of the topics is what I would call doing what you want or doing what feels like the right thing to do in the moment. And probably I'll save that topic for later, but it has to do with every single moment right where you are. What is the next step to take without thinking about it, uh, just feeling into? And you may be surprised that many of the ideas and tasks and plans that you've had for the day or for your life are no longer relevant. Like, oh, well, I should do this or I should replenish my supply of this object. So let me now go to the store or go on to amazon.com or whatever it might be. And you might find that, oh, actually, that's not what I want or that's not what I need. Even though it's the thing that I do, it's actually not something that I want or need. And um, anyway, it's an interesting topic because I find that it's something I've been practicing for quite some time. It's like natural movement or natural being, or I don't know what you'd call it. I feel like if you're not in your head, if you're not living in your head like I do, that's just life. But I think most people do live in their heads to some extent. And so it can become a practice of, oh, okay, does my body want to walk out the front door, take five steps to the right, and then spin around in a circle. I mean, it could be something like, you know, as seemingly random as that. Maybe that's the exact thing that you need to do. Um, I don't know. It seems like a more childlike way of living in some sense of just following your whim and seeing where it takes you. And I think it could take you very interesting places. But so that's one concept I would like to just delve into at some later date. Now, what was the other one I wanted to talk about? So let me know if that sounds interesting to anyone. Maybe I won't. Okay, if that sounds interesting, let me know in the comments and I will start to talk about that. I'll make a note to do that because um, usually I forget the next day what I was going to talk about anyway. So we will put a little earmark on that. Now I'm feeling super anxious. I think maybe I don't, the topic I really was going to talk about tonight, I believe it had to do with dreams. Okay, I remember now why I'm anxious. All right, so has this ever happened to you? You wake up from a nap or you wake up first thing in the morning. This particularly happens to me if I'm napping later in the day. You wake up and poof, where am I? What is going on? Not just in a, oh, I'm in a room and it's unfamiliar kind of sense, but in a, oh, my brain has not actually come up with a story for what my life is. And so I'm like, wait a minute, this is all made up. Not conceptually speaking, but literally everything I'm seeing in front of me is just made up. And I'm alone or not really alone, but it's just all me and it's just kind of this weird, oh, ocean of m mysterious darkness or something like that, that. And I don't feel bad when that happens. I actually feel it's kind of like a, a profoundly like interesting feeling. It's like if I don't wake up fully and actually get out of bed and start moving around. I'm in this place of like mm, unbeing. It's like unbecoming or it's like um, and in that place, it seems like anything is possible. Um, you could create any world that you wanted to. And it's like the underneath of reality. It's like the forge where the galactic forge where some giant person made of stars is just hammering away and creating new things. Like, I don't, I don't know. Does that, is that something that happens to anyone else? Cause it's kind of a weird, kind of a weird concept, I guess. And in those moments, like all of the worldly concerns just don't 
make any sense. I know in the back of my mind there are other people out there doing activities, and once I join that world, I'll be amongst them and doing those things. But before I actually bring that online, I'm like I wonder what's possible from this place. Is there? A, can we act from that place? Can we create new worlds from that place? Um, it feels so potent, you know, but. Once we get out of bed and start walking around, the whole, like, we're just alive. We're just doing human. You know, we're doing the human thing. So, um, yeah, it's like a half-asleep place. It's half-awake, half-asleep. I feel like that, I don't know, this makes me really nervous to talk about. I just don't want to talk about it. I thought I did. I was going to have this whole conversation about it, but I think it's just weird, like, because even if you all have experienced this too, that doesn't necessarily make it feel any less lonely and it doesn't make it feel... But when I'm in that though, I actually feel such a heartfelt... Um, I actually want to so deeply connect with certain people in my life and say, oh my God, hey, how are you? Not in a like, I'm a separate person kind of way, but in a, oh my God, what the fuck is going on? You know, it's actually a very joyful place and it's actually very, an intimately connected place because there's no real separation or boundaries between anything. But as soon as you actually wake up and start walking around, then it's like, oh, okay, well, they're over there or my friend is across the country or halfway across the world. I'll have to call them up on a cell phone and talk to them. And it's this whole, ugh, clunky device. Um, I don't know, man. And just, yeah, getting up, moseying around, and then sitting down, putting on this camera, recording a video, uploading it to YouTube. You're downloading it. <laughs> it's like that whole process in time. That's just, I wish I could just get, like record a video from the void of my mind, just uploading straight to consciousness and speaking straight to that, from that, without needing, without needing to put on this sort of show that I'm putting on, you know? Um, that I'm, I'm sure it's possible, I believe it's possible. I just, it's, it makes me a little anxious to think about doing it though, you know? A little bit anxious, but we'll see. Anyways, I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> I, I guess that is pretty much going to be it then for tonight. So I thought, thought it was going to be a whole conversation and I'm feeling like massive anxiety in my chest. And um, it's not a bad thing. It's just becoming embodied and alive and um, real, becoming real. Do, 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 no thank you. 